Hello, hello, hello. Welcome. Welcome to our um, happy at home session. This is our first one that we're having in 2023. My name is Alice. I am the um, leader of the Scrap Happy community online for scrapbookers. And I'm so excited to be here with you today for this live fun session. So each day that we do one of these happy at home sessions, the, the goal is just to explore something and kind of see what, um, you know, kind of see what kind of creativity we can dig into. So um, I'd love to know like if there's a certain type of creativity, like maybe you really love stamping and you want some ideas for that. Maybe you never use your dyes and you want to get some more inspiration on dyes. Maybe you, I don't know, like you have a ton of washi tape like me. Oh my God. I don't, I'm actually scared to do washi tape. <laughs> so maybe that's a good one, but let me know what else you want to see later on this month. Now we do have several dates that we're going to be going live. There's a few exclusions due to other commitments, but I'm really looking forward to hanging out with you. Okay. Should we dig in? So I have a really fun topic for us today and it's something I actually never do very often is a flip through. Hello, I see comments. Uh, Natalie says cut files and washi tape. <laughs> uh oh, she's challenging me out with that washi tape. <laughs> Inking with stencils says Teresa. Ooh, that's like a super favorite for me. So that's very exciting. Um, whatever we get, get into, it kind of usually goes by inspiration, but I love getting your ideas because then I know like what's interesting uh today <laughs> so excited uh, we are going to dig into um we're going to talk about load which is the layout a day challenge that we do um in the scrap happy community and you can sign up for it from outside the community you don't have to be a member to participate in most of our loads and in February, we did one called Space Nerds. Load 223 for February of 2023 was Space Nerds. So we talked all month long about the nerdiest space movies and shows. And we even talked about video games. Like it was, we, we did all the nerdy space stuff. The stuff that you love to nerd out on, we went there. And then we used prompts from each of the shows that we featured to inspire our scrapbook pages, which is so much fun. So, oh, I see Nubo. <laughs> Amy's like, Nubo. Shocking, Amy, shocking. <laughs> so we, that is what we did in uh, February. And we have another one coming up. I'm just releasing all the details about it right now. But it is inspired. Da, 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 da. It's called Frogs, Pigs, and Fuzzy Bears. <laughs> It is gonna be featuring the Muppets. So we are going to be looking at the Muppets from Jim Henson, and we are going to be exploring the super fun uh, felt and fun for world of the Muppets. And we're going to be using that as inspiration for our scrapbook pages. And if you're like, what on earth does, this, does that look like when you take inspiration from something like that and put it into pages? Well, really, when we come to load, it's not about scrapbooking the Muppets. It's not about scrapbooking about Star Trek. It's about scrapbooking your own stories and making sure that, you know, we draw inspiration to help us tell our own stories, to make our own pages. So waka waka. <laughs> That's right. So looking forward. That will start May the 1st. Registration has just opened. If you are not a Scrap Happy member yet, you can come and join us as a member. And the link will be in the description underneath this video. Um, and then you'll have membership for a year, which includes three of our load challenges. And if you just want to hop in for the Muppets, then you can sign up for that. And the link is below and it is on sale until April 24th. You get $15 off. So that's in place right now. Um, okay. So what does this look like? So let's talk about it. Day number one of our February load, we were getting drawing our inspiration from Star Wars and we were talking about the Millennium Falcon. So the Millennium Falcon, we all know, is the fastest ship in the galaxy. It made the Kessel Run in less than 12 parsecs. And so our 
story-based prompt, because we do too, uh, our story-based prompt said to scrapbook an activity that happens quickly in your day or life. And for technique, because Lego has released 13, one, three, um, 13 editions of the Millennium Falcon as a Lego kit, uh, use some color blocking on your layout. So I thought this was super fun. <laughs> Jenny says, oh, I love these sessions because I listen to them on my way home from work. Yay. <laughs> yeah, and we need some Fraggle Rock, says Amy, <laughs> for the Muppets. And unless your story includes Star Trek and that's how you met your husband, right? Right? So you got to tell your stories. Um, super fun. Okay, let's take a look at what I did with this. This is what I'm going to show you. We're going to take a peek into basically my album. Although these pages don't go into one album for me because they tell different stories. So they actually get put into different albums, but I haven't done that yet. So this was the perfect chance to finally show this off before I file them away. Okay, here we go. Um, you can see me up in the corner, but I'm going to talk to you about the pages. So this first one is inspired by the Millennium Falcon, something that happened quickly. Well, I had the great opportunity to go on a cruise and I got to hug a sloth. You guys, I got to hug a sloth. It was so much fun and I was so excited to do it. Here's like a little peek up close. So great. But I'm going to tell you. Sometimes when you see these touristy things that look amazing, you don't really know how fast and snappy they're going to happen. <laughs> and this one was fast. They, I only had about 15 seconds of sloth hugging and that was it. <laughs> like that was my 15 seconds, but you can take, see from that picture, I enjoyed every single one of those seconds. And so I thought it was really fun. As for the technique part of the prompts, like when we do load, you don't have to use the prompts. You can just do whatever you want. So you can use load for accountability. Have I seen that a lot? Absolutely. Especially for finishing projects like December daily. I see that a lot in February, <laughs> but I, um, if possible, I like to use the story and the technique because like that just makes it more fun for me. And so you can see in this heart in the background that I did a little bit of color blocking. You can't really see the yellow anymore. It's like barely, it's kind of just hiding in there. Should have had a little more yellow. It's kind of hiding behind the adorable sloth, which I colored. Bonus points for me because I'm not a colorer. That is not my favorite thing, but it's super cute. And I just love um, how that turned out. So that was day number one. This is what it was gonna look like. So day number two, we did a theme day because there's way too many space nerdy kind of shows that I wanted to fit as many into our month as possible so that everybody's favorites, hopefully we would visit everybody's favorites. I guarantee we missed something because <laughs> there was only 28 days in February. <laughs> so we did Aliens on Earth. Each day of the week we had a kind of theme. So Wednesdays were Star Wars Wednesdays. We started the month on a Wednesday. Then we had Thursdays, which are our theme Thursdays. Aliens on Earth was our first theme. So we talked about being home away from home because aliens like E.T., Superman, and Elf, if anybody remembers the TV show Elf, they all kind of found a new family, which became their home away from home. And so for us, we wanted to scrapbook about someone in your family, maybe you, that was being away from home. And for technique, pick one. Use the colors from Reese's Pieces, like E.T., or red and blue, like Superman, or a, use a cat, like from Elf. And so I went with the red and blue with some yellow in there for Superman. And I think this turned out so good um, because we had just done this cruise. A lot of my pages were cruise related, um, but this was our home away from home. So this is our picture in front of the Ruby Princess cruise ship. And so this was our home for a week as we were on this travel adventure and I think that just turned out so perfect. Now super fun things that I did on this page. Um, I actually did like some of that packaging technique where you put a little ink on uh, some plastic and you smoosh it with a little bit of water and kind of apply it to your paper. 
this is actually this part of the top is um, pattern paper so I just used a strip of it and then I applied some of those colors so they look like they're like fading down into the page it's pretty good I, I like how it kind of turned out and then I've got these fabulous flowers that I kind of lined the colors up as I went across and uh, yeah I just yeah it's super cute I love how that how that came together. <laughs> Debbie says, I love this. <laughs> Amy says, I love how slaws were used for something that happened quickly, right? Isn't that the funniest thing ever? <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> I, I, I love a good joke. <laughs> So, yeah. So let's see. That's day number two. Day number three, we were on to um, Family Friday. So we were talking about the Jetsons. And so we looked at, for our story, what kinds of technology make your life easier today? And then for technique, use technology to help create your layout. Do something that's a little more techy than usual. And so this is my page that I created and I was talking about these medallions that you get on princess cruises. Now, if anybody has done a princess cruise, seriously, these are amazing. Um, let me show you in a, just a little bit of a close up. So if you look at all of our hands, you can see the little um, wristwatches kind of that we're wearing. They're actually a little, um, medallion and you can wear them on a lanyard but we really liked the wristbands it was very convenient you can wear them on a little pin or whatever carry them in your pocket if you want <laughs> not convenient for me for holidays um but yeah i love the wristwatches and they actually helped us find each other on the ship because they kind of show your position on the boat with your, your shipmates or your, your friends or family that you're there with. And we used it to track each other and find each other. Um, and you could make different plans together and stuff using those medallions. So super convenient. Also, when you link in so celebrations, every time you walk by the screens, it would say like, happy graduation, Joe B. <laughs> and that was a lot of fun to kind of see that this was a super simple page as you can see i just made the most of this gorgeous pattern paper and i put my picture in with a few little sticker pieces now did i do anything really techy mm, no i totally forgot <laughs> and that happens and whatever are they like the disney magic bands yes right like they give you access you can pay for things they scan you like to see like what kind of special packages you have um it's kind of a little scary because you never need money <laughs> it's really easy to spend but um yeah lots of lots of good stuff and like if you have a drinks package or something then they can actually see that when you go to the bar and they'll give you your drinks yeah yeah this is perfect the sunset kind of effect on this like built in in the paper guys like it might feel like cheating but it's not cheating that's what they make it for <laughs> okay day number four it was our silly saturdays and uh our first one up was men in black now if you don't think that's a silly movie okay we can debate that but <laughs> that was the first one that we brought up and there is a quote in men in black it says my granddaddy always said, if you got a problem you can't solve, pie helps to get it out of your head. So Agent K said that. And so our tech, our prompt for our story was to scrapbook about a piece of advice that you've received or that you give. And then for technique, I love this one so much, hide something in plain sight on your page, the way the aliens hide amongst the public. So this was the page that I made. You can see a little bit of that paper. So, you know, when you got stuff on your desk, you just kind of use it, right? And so load definitely, ha that happens a lot. You see a lot of um, paper collections actually really get used up. It's a great time <laughs> to use up supplies. I tell you though, I did almost run out of adhesive during this load and that could have been tragic. I was like doing like inconvenient types of adhesive by the end of the month because I hadn't ordered enough adhesive. I'm like, note to self. Uh, this paper, I can tell you because I actually wrote it on the back. Um, this is Coco Vanilla Storyteller Collection paper for this one here. And it's the same one that we saw on that day two page. Mm -hmm. Right, good. Okay, so 
Um, for this, the advice was eat all the good things. Basically eat all the things, I think was the advice, but I loved having good in there. And so for some of the dinners, uh, my husband gave this advice to our kids and they are grown, they're 22, 24. Um, they were eating all the things and they would order, like this night, Ryan had four, one, two, three, four entrees. The chicken, see the words just kind of hiding in there. The prime rib, the meatloaf, and the lamb. <laughs> and to be a 22-year-old young man, right? To be able to enjoy all of that. <laughs> so funny. Um, so, yeah, that was really fun and to kind of do. And I love this little um, bubbly kind of effect with the little small bits of the pattern papers because I was using lots of leftovers here, like a little bit of the heart paper and a little bit of this yellow star kind of paper. I've got a little piece of some of this um, in here, right? You can see some of the patterns that are showing up here. This one with the, like, the little baby hearts on it. So it was a good way to kind of get a few more pieces of the fun patterns onto the page. Yes, and very much enjoyed that. Okay, day number five was our first um, Sunday, and we were talking about series. So um, <laughs> let's see, what series did we do for our very first day? The one I was most nervous about, like seriously, so nervous about because I don't watch this series, but we had to do it, Doctor Who. So for Doctor Who, we were talking about the TARDIS. The TARDIS is bigger than on the inside, which is a very common phrase that you hear. I went to somebody that knew about Doctor Who to make sure I didn't mess this one up. <laughs> and she said, they always talk about how the TARDIS is so much bigger on the inside than it seems. And so scrapbook about something that was a much bigger event, activity, place, or deal than you expected it to be. I thought, that's a genius prompt. Like, that's so good. Because how many things in your life, like, start off and it's like, oh, this is gonna be so simple. And then it's like really big. <laughs> I see some blue hearts for the TARDIS, I think there, Amy. <laughs> um, yeah, and so I thought that was a fun prompt. And then uh, the TARDIS takes the shape of a blue police box. However, police boxes are mostly discontinued. Use a discontinued item on your page. So here we go. This is the page that I made. It is super simple, but I think it is so cool. <laughs> oh yes, TARDIS. Time and relative dimension in space. TARDIS. I <laughs> think. <laughs> I have it written in one of my little notes and each one of the days when we do load I do up a little video and I show you lots of cool stuff and I talk about some of this inspiration. So we go a little bit deeper. I try to keep the videos like under five minutes. Occasionally they get a little longer than five minutes and sometimes I add a little bonus at the end when I found something that's just so cool and I can't wait to share it with you. But it's um, it's a lot of fun and I try to make it something quick so you can be like get your prompt and then dive into like, ooh, what am I going to scrapbook today? <laughs> uh, uh, Amy says, my car is Tardis Blue and named Donna after one of the companions. Aww, <laughs> there's a Doctor Who fan I could have consulted. <laughs> I did, I did get advice from April and thank goodness because, you know, I didn't even know where to start. It is the longest running television show in the UK or like, like, in the, like it's a long or space themed television show. I think in the world. <laughs> like it was like, there's a lot of uh, pressure with that to get that right. So I did our zipline adventure. Joe and I originally were going to go and hug a sloth. That was the whole purpose of our trip. And then we got to go and do zip lining as well. The zip lining turned out amazing. And so this became my page. Our, our driver, our taxi driver, like even filmed me coming in for my final zip, which was so cool because then I had a video of me coming in. And so that was a lot of fun to have. And, um, this paper is from a little shop called the Island Papery in Maui. If you go to Maui, please 
try to get to the island papery it's a lovely little shop and they have so many things that are custom for hawaii and um the beaches and the tropical kind of area and um they do their own custom papers so i don't know if this paper is discontinued but because it's so custom i put it in there and i think it counts <laughs> Um, but yeah, so that was our Doctor Who day. Super fun. Um, mm -mm. so the next day, let's see here. Next day was, ooh, one of my very favorite movies. So it was, um, film adaptation Mondays. So it was either books or something of that sort that was converted into or turned into movies, film adaptations. And so we did The Martian, which I love that that movie so much. And actually the audiobook is amazing. It's just so good. So The Martian is, a good, is great. Um, our prompt said the astronauts could only take a few personal possessions with them to Mars. Scrapbook about something valuable to you because those possessions, if you only have a few things, it's very valuable to you. And for technique, Watney had to improvise a communication method to talk to Earth, right? He like set up the little spots and the camera thing that would point to the letters. It was crazy. Um, improvise the creation of your title on your page. Try not to use something predictable like stickers. Okay, so improvisation. So this was my layout that I did for day number six. And I had a lot of fun with this one. Um, so something valuable to me was having that chance to go to paradise and be there with my kids. Like that was really special. So I've got this great picture of them at the beach in Roatan, Honduras. And, you know, it was just like, uh, the weather was perfect. The water was perfect. The kids like, oh, it was so good. And so I came up with this page and I love this little effect that I created in the background with the little heart pattern paper and the little rolled up edges. Isn't that cute? Um, let's have a look, a little look at that kind of up close. You can see all the little, how I've rolled it up. It's almost like a little tornado in the background, I guess, but I love it. And then you can also see, these are the letters. I punched them out of like the striped pattern paper that was part of this collection and I cut them out with some dies and just kind of put a little bit of pen mark around the edges and stuff. Um, yeah, and so I wasn't sure about the letters. I think it's okay. Maybe it wasn't my fa most favorite thing that I've ever done, but you know, we were improvising, so I tried something different. But thank you. She's a, I, I just saw Amy's comment. She says, I love that layout. It's beautiful. <laughs> I really felt that way when I was done it. I'm like, this is beautiful. <laughs> this paper collection, for anybody that's curious, is the Heidi Swap Sun Chaser collection. And um, that is one of the prettiest collections ever. Well, I just said Heidi Swap, you know. That, that explains it already. <laughs> okay, day number seven, and we were finally, finally, finally at a Trekkie Tuesday. So every Tuesday was based on Star Trek. And so for day number seven, we talked about the Enterprise. Now the design of the Enterprise does not look like it would exist in a place with gravity. It's like big and clunky and like awkward and has like these little skinny parts and then like <laughs> like the big disc and yeah, it's super strange looking and not designed for being like in gravity. It's designed for space, right? It looks like it's designed for space. So um, the ship had amazing technology that would transport you to another location, the transporter. And so imagine, just imagine for a second, like, can we all just imagine if, if travel was that easy where you could just transport and you're there, <laughs> like, <laughs> how amazing would that be? Um, so beat me up, Scotty, uh, scrapbook about a travel adventure. And then um, for technique, use an interactive element on your layout, something interactive. So we have this layout. Now I'm moving it around 
that stuff's not attached because it's going to go into a page protector and be attached. Well, let me show you. So I did this swim with the dolphins page and I've got pictures of all of us doing different activities with the dolphins. So we got to pet the dolphins. We got to get kissed by the dolphins. We get to ride the dolphins. And then we got the dolphin to actually push us on a boogie board. Like, um, amazing. So fun. And so these little pieces will flip up on my layout once I put it in the page protector. So the little strip kind of comes off and they stick on the outside so that you can play with it and still see all the fun things. They're called a flip flap. They are from close to my heart for anybody that has not seen these before. Um, super fun. And it lets me have all of these different uh, pictures to go with this. So I've got pictures of all of us doing all of the things. I've just kind of featured different ones in different places. So that was my page. And I just kind of kept it pretty simple. Like this background paper, it came like that. I added some white lines. I added the little labels and my title, which I was only so, so happy with, but it was done. And so that was the page. Um, that was inspired by the Enterprise. Now, as you can see, it doesn't look very Enterprise-like, but man, was it a travel adventure. <laughs> and I got to use the sticker that says the best day. <laughs> and, you know, I think it counts. Yeah. Uh, hello, Sophia is here. Yeah, so fun. Thank you all for saying hi and chatting. I saw Gail in the chat. I saw Teresa in the chat and Natalie in the chat. So nice of you to like pop in and say hi. Um, so yeah, that was that page. Next up, it was time for day number eight and we were back to a Wednesday. So it was Star Wars Wednesday again. I'm just going to take this pile so that it's not in the way here. And... Star Wars Wednesday. So for this day, we are talking about Darth Vader, the most iconic movie line that often goes misquoted actually is, no, I am your father. It's not actually Luke. I am your father. That's a misquote. Just like a tiny misquote, like, but it's technically a misquote. <laughs> and so, um, yeah, so this um, Luke, I am your father is actually, no, I am your father. So for this day, we were scrapbooking about a misunderstanding or something misremembered and use black as your on your layout as a major design element. So I chose to use black as my background, which turned out perfect. And I doodled on it, which is something a little out of my comfort zone, actually. So kind of fun. And then I talked all about this Mexican cooking class. And that was something that was about a bit of a misunderstanding or miss because of the ceviche dish. Anyways, we had a little misunderstanding with the ceviche. Beam me up, Scotty. That was also never said, right? I know. <laughs> like We found so many things as I went through that. It's like, oh, people always think it was this line, but it was actually not. <laughs> Ooh, Chantel has like a hot take for you guys. Allison has the Heidi Swap paper available at her store in Ladner, BC. I saw some yesterday. So if you go to Ladner Village Arts and Crafts, Ladner Village Crafts, I think, .ca, you can check out and find some of that awesome Heidi Swap paper that I had. Oh my gosh, it's like one of my favorite Heidi collections ever. Um, okay, so back to this, my page, there was like a whole ceviche misunderstanding. So we actually made the guacamole instead, which 100% made me more happy. Like I was going to be way happier with, with, with guacamole than ceviche. So it wasn't like a heartbreaking misunderstanding, but it was good. Um, so let's have a look up close and you can see that I've added like a little flip on here that you can see some extra pictures underneath and I've got some of the action shots and you can see some of the doodling and these cute little letters. I think those were Heidi Swap letters actually. 
Um, yeah, and some of my cute little doodles around all the edges. I think it just tied it all together. I had this paper. It was, oh my gosh. Okay, let me get this right. The paper was from the Crafty Chica. She's, it's part of the Maker's Movement, and it was her own collection. Yeah, I don't eat ceviche. I just can't. <laughs> I don't eat seafood <laughs> and definitely not ceviche. It's like, um, it can be like raw fish and it can be raw, um, shrimp and stuff. And they actually like process it with lime and it has to process for a certain amount of time to make it like cooked or kind of if anybody has a better explanation that's totally fine to put that in the comments but um the thing is the shrimp I think it was can't be completely done with that it's like 90% good but mm, it can still be a little questionable and so um yeah it's cooked but not with heat but with acids and so um it uh and they had actually pre-cooked the shrimp part, which was part of the misunderstanding. So, and but Joe said he would have done it if he knew that they had pre-cooked the shrimp. <laughs> there was like, I think the fish part was maybe not. Yeah. Did you stamp the chef's name? I love that you included it. It's actually those little tiny letters, right? Chef Louise. He, um... Yeah, the, the, they're little tiny letters. Just like these ones, they're little tiny letters, and these are little tiny letters. And I will tell you, normally, little tiny letters like that are like torture, and I'm like, um, no thank you, that is torture for me to have to kind of do and mess around. But these ones, they're really firm, and so they went on so easy. <laughs> I was really happy about that. Because I'm like, oh, that's really finicky. I don't know that I don't like that. Um, but yeah, it was really fun. Okay, day number nine was back to a theme Thursday. So this time we were talking about end of the world films. So there are many sci-fi end of the world films. We talked about a couple of them. Like we mentioned Independence Day, Interstellar, Armageddon, Deep Impact, Starship Troopers, War of the Worlds, Titan AE Signs, Edge of Tomorrow, Mars Attacks. Like there's a whole bunch, but we kind of focused on a couple of them. And all of them tend to have a hero. And usually there's a moment where the hero gives this inspiring speech to rally the troops and motivate them to go and save the world. And so our inspiration for our story was to scrapbook about something important that inspires you. And for technique, in order to save the world, there's an epic prepare to save the world montage, like almost always. It's like they're fueling the jets and they're, you know, doing extra workouts and they're like getting all their gear and like doing a little training. Like it's always this epic montage scene with like some great music to pump you up. And uh, so it was make your own layout montage by making a multi-photo layout. Now here's Alice like going off the script because I totally forgot when I was scrapbooking about the montage thing and I didn't do that. So, <laughs> so and I didn't do that, which would have been great. It would have been great like to have like a multi-photo layout to kind of showcase action or something like that would have been great, but no. So something important that inspires you. And I just talk here how I've never been a morning person, so normally I only get to enjoy sunsets. In the winter at home and when we're on holiday, I get to watch the sunrise. And all of the colors painting the sky calms me, makes my breathing slower. I feel a sense of peace and relaxation. I feel inspired, fulfilled, like I can take on the day and shine brightly. And so I've got all these little inspiring little um, stamped sayings along around the, the photo. I've got like this little frame on here, this happy in a million little ways. I got a little bit of bling on here because me, I love me some bling. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it was so great. <laughs> I don't even try it. Stamp it instead. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's, um, yeah. So this is a lot of, um, I, I just like leaned into this beautiful background paper. I'm pretty sure this was a sun chaser again. Yeah. Heidi Swap again. 
and I just kind of leaned into the paper. I've got my sun sunrise photo, which I never usually get. And yeah, it was pretty great. So yeah, the perfect moment. Got things like sunshine, worth it, fun times, bring the fun, best ever, you know, go outside and play, goals. Yeah. Anyways, it was really good um, to kind of do one that really talks about how sunsets, sunrises, that's, it just feels so inspiring. And I think it's not that I don't get to see them necessarily here sometimes in the summer. Let's be real. I don't see sunrises in the summer here way too early, but, um, you know, here we don't take time to watch the sunset, but also our sunsets happen like really, really slowly. Whereas when I'm on holiday, it's like the sun is up, then the sun is down. <laughs> so it just happens so quick. Okay. So next up, um, yeah, and that's inspired by End of the World. So like you can see how like you find this little piece of inspiration and then it's totally not like about Independence Day or Armageddon. <laughs> Okay, next up, day number 10, we were back to our family Fridays. We were drawing our inspiration from the show Wally. -E, well, the movie Wally. -E. Wally -E is a robot that is not designed to have a personality. He's a robot, but somehow he does. Scrapbook about how your personality has changed over time and use yellow and gray, which obviously I forgot. <laughs> Obviously, but I did talk about my personality. Now, I didn't talk about my changing over time, but I talked about one distinct thing. So I think for this one, I'm a little bit like prompt adjacent. So I'm not like on the prompt exactly, but I'm like near the prompt, right? The prompt took me in a certain direction. So I think that totally counts. <laughs> and Sharon says, I came too early and now I'm late. You're just going to jump in where we're at. It's going to be good. And we will be back on Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday next week. And then just Monday, Friday on the last week because I'm away a little bit. So that is the schedule that we have. I put it in the email. So if you're on my email list, then uh, you would have got that. Okay, so this is me. And I talk about how I'm the bag lady. Like, obviously, I'm the one with the bag. I've got the sunscreen for the kids. I've got my sunglasses, my hat, my towel, my, my all the things that you put into your bags. I've got that kind of listed out over here. And, uh, you know, this is me. <laughs> Love your selfie, even if you're a bag lady. <laughs> And I loved these little um, stamped images. They were from um, Ink Road Stamps. I've had them for some time and I love this. Lynette says yellow and gray is one of my favorite combos. I love it too. I was sure I was going in that direction until I started making my page and I'm like, oh, I forgot about that. Oh, okay. I guess I didn't. <laughs> oh, well. Um, so yeah, I just talked about how my husband says I always pack too much stuff. It's not often I can be found without a bag full of very important things. <laughs> the funny thing is I usually forget to bring bags with me to the grocery store. So yeah, like bag lady fail. <laughs> On this trip, Joe and I stopped at Del Sol for some fun color changing shirts and I got a new bag too. <laughs> so lots of fun. Okay, next up, day number 11 is inspired by one of my all-time favorite movies. Now, I talked about The Martian. I said I love that show. But this one, <sighs> wonderful. Um, Galaxy Quest. If you have not seen Galaxy Quest, if you like Star Trek, please watch it. Seriously. It, it has been called the best Star Trek movie <laughs> That's saying something like I didn't say that because I love my Star Trek movies, but you know, it's so funny and it's really like about the fans of the shows and how it's respectful of the fans and stuff too. Like I really like it. Um, it's hilarious. Uh, so Galaxy Quest scrapbooking. Uh, so our story inspired by it is scrapbook about something that you get really nerdy about uh, where you're their biggest fan. <laughs> And for technique, use one-liners. Every character has their own saying, right? And use a quote on your layout today. 
the Galaxy Quest is a parody, and they really lean into Star Trek and other fandom. But uh, my page is not about my holiday. <laughs> I did this one during Scrapbook Live, so there's um, if you want to see this layout come together, you can actually check out my Scrapbook Live for February. And they said I was crazy, but here I am, a crazy chicken lady, right? So... Um, I leaned into that. I've got pictures of me with my chickens and I talk about people who have their chickens right now because like the price of eggs had skyrocketed. <laughs> All this stuff was so expensive. <laughs> And uh, lots of fun. And then, of course, I've got my journaling all tucked in the back here so that I could pull that out on the little tag that I left a pocket for. And, yeah, I thought that was super fun. I leaned into something that I definitely get nerdy about. The crazy chicken lady. And then I also was able to use, like... I don't know if it's a quote, but I think using a meme kind of qualifies as a quote. So, you know, give myself credit for that. And I did some of my favorite little techniques, like the little cutouts and stuff from the backgrounds on this. And yeah, it was just really cute. Okay, day number 12 was a series Sunday again. And we talked about the series Stargate. Now, I knew this much about Stargate going into this load, but I know a lot more about Stargate now. Um, and so for our story, we talked, we said, let's scrapbook about our modes of transportation because the Stargate carried you from one galaxy to another, um, to different places. Uh, talk about modes of transportation. Do you take walks? Do you take cars, flights, bikes, buses? And so we had some really fun pages that featured different types of transportation and how that fits into your life. Uh, and for technique, symbols around the Stargate. So there's, they, it has like this big round gate that they walk through and there's little symbols and they had to interpret the symbols to understand how to use the gate. Um, so they could travel to different places. Use a symbol on your layout, perhaps a road sign, an emoji, or sim to symbolize a message or a feeling. <laughs> Another awesome show, says Amy. Oh, by Grabdar's hammer, you shall be avenged. Yeah, quote from Galaxy Quest. I love that. <laughs> Such a favorite. Um, and so I featured a mode of transportation. So, shocking, shocking. It was like the cruise ship that we were traveling on and this fun picture with my kids. Like, okay, so maybe I'm not making the greatest photo or face in this photo. I will show you. Maybe I'm not making the greatest face, but it's still good. <laughs> it's still good. <laughs> and so that was our, um, that was my mode of transportation. And, um, and then for symbols, like, I think I totally forgot. Like, honestly, that happens sometimes. Like I get so wrapped up in the story that it's like technique. What? Oh, I forgot. <laughs> You've heard that a few times so far. Um, but yeah, I used some fun papers from the collection. I've done some rolled edges. I used a really big photo. So if you guys ever need to make a fast snappy fast page, Big photos are your best friend. I tell you, this page went together like so fast. Big photos don't leave a lot of room for anything else. You just get that photo on there and you're done. Okay, next up, day 13. It was time for, um, oh, what day of the week are we on? Oh, Monday. So it was a film adaptation. And I actually didn't know entirely that this was a film adaptation. I'm like, well, it's a film adaptation from real life, but there is even a book. So um, Apollo 13. Apollo 13 was the mission that was um, kind of a big disaster, but they were able to save it. So through hard work and creativity, scrapbook about something that went wrong. Maybe you were able to rescue it. And for technique, because they had to fit a square peg into a round hole to fix the air scrubbers for their life support, uh, use squares and circles on your layout. And so my page does have squares and circles. I almost forgot, but I included them in some gel pen on the background. So that totally counts. <laughs> totally counts. And then... How do I make that go away? Oh, that's funny. Okay. Uh, it's been in my way the whole time. Um, so yeah, I've got my squares and circles. And then I talked about something that I was able to rescue. And 
like I took this very tongue in cheek as far as a rescue. I said some heroes wear capes, some bring sunscreen. So I'm rescuing my sons from potentially getting a sunburn. So <laughs> yeah, I know so many good shows, so many good shows. Yeah, I it was hard fitting them all in. I tell you, like that was a challenge. <laughs> Okay, day number 14, uh, we were back to Star Trek and it was, uh, we were talking about the captains. So th because there are many different series of Star Trek, there are several different captains of the Enterprise and other ships. We covered the, a couple of the others too. But each captain has their own leadership styles and qualities. What roles in your life are you or work, relationships, etc. are you a leader? Tell a story about how you're a leader or kind of control different situations and use stars on your layout. So I used stars on my background paper and I added extra stars down the little strip down the middle for this one. And I kind of, this was kind of like a little joke to me because my husband was helping to fix the ship. They couldn't get the door open and he helped the guy open it up and it was really, really stuck. And so it was just funny because he's always like, oh, here, let's just do that. And he's just hopping in to fix it. So I had a, a good laugh about this one. Um, yeah. And I tell you, like this would work with washi tape. You know, we were talking about washi tape. Um, these strips here, there is washi tape in this strip. Like there's the cutoff strips, leftover pieces, and washi tape in this little strip section. And then popping the two photos in there. Man, that was like a fast and easy layout. I'll tell you that was good. Okay, let's move these ones off to the side because it starts getting a little bit hefty in front of me. Our next day was a Star Wars day and we talked about the droids. So R2-D2, he's my favorite, and C-3PO are the droids and they become friends and they look out for each other, even though it doesn't always seem like it. <laughs> um, they help each other out of many difficult situations and scrapbook a story about friendship. Uh, were you in a scrape? Did you get into mischief? Tell the behind the scenes story. So like, this is my way of like digging for dirt. Like what kinds of good stories are people going to share in our gallery and tell you some of them were so good. <laughs> like It was hilarious. Like one of the joys of load is getting to see all of the pages that people upload to the gallery and being like, oh, that was such a good idea. And then you kind of see some of their stories and you're like, oh, this one was like scandalous sometimes. I loved it. <laughs> so, so much fun. Um, but yeah, so tell this behind the scenes story and for technique, use gold like C-3PO. And I had, on my way to the cruise, we went down, flew into Houston and I got to hang out with my friend April and that was so fun that we got to hang out for an evening and they drove us to the cruise port the next morning. We got to go and have some little adventures and went for some Texas barbecue mm. <laughs> and even some frozen custard and oh, it was just so good to see friends so um, and make new ones and so that was uh that was a lot of fun, so I was able to cover that. And I uh, didn't use gold gold, but I used like rose gold to kind of fit in with my theme and don't have that much of it on here. Definitely could have used some more, but it is what it is. I It's not like I completely forgot on this one. <laughs> Day number 16, we were back to a theme Thursday, and so now we were talking about scary films. Now, I'll tell you, like, this one kind of almost, like, made my hands sweat. Like, it was like, oh my gosh, scary movies. I'm not good with scary movies. And so we talked about Alien. We talked about V a little bit. We talked about Predator, Invasion of the Body Snatchers, just kind of shows like that, especially Alien and Predator. We leaned into those two. And so Alien sounds and noises tend to be very distinctive and they kind of set a creepy vibe. Like when you think about Predator and you think of the whatever that noise is, I don't know, I don't know how to make it. Like that noise from a Predator movie, it's like, oh, like it gets me like just shivering right now. I'm just trying to think of it. Um, so 
like that's a creepy vibe, right? But I said, scrapbook about a distinctive sound that you hear in your life. Hopefully it isn't terrifying. <laughs> and inspired by the thermal imaging from Predator and the movie poster from Invasion and the Body Snatcher, um, which has like cool colors and stuff like that on it, use a watercolor effect or ink blending. And so I... Uh, come visit me, says Amy. I'll take you to North Carolina barbecue. Texas has nothing on us. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm like on my way. <laughs> like abandoning the live stream, heading for the airport, man. Like I <laughs> love barbecue so much. Uh, so this is my page that I did for this. And you can see with like the whole inspired by the predator thermal imaging, I've got some really cool ink blending going on on the background. Now I made this one inspired by a class that Sarah Scraps taught for us within the Scrap Happy community. She does a Scrap School class for us every single month as part of our membership and that's exclusive for our members. And this time she showed us this galaxy effect, which was so fun. And I actually didn't have enough black ink to pull it off. So mine is a little bit more on the gray side, but it still turned out amazing. Like, look at this paper, like it's cool. And so I said that my boys coming down the stairs all dressed up in their nice, like nice outfits that were looking like stars. <laughs> so that just tied in, gave me a chance to use up a little bit of my um, little, um, acrylic pieces because like I love some acrylic and then now I'm not just hoarding hoarding them I actually use them and uh got some little strips in there in the background too but yeah it turned out so good I just love it um the little splatters in the background and we splattered water on it because we used the Tim Holtz um inks the Distress Oxide inks oh my gosh it was great Amy says, we've got Eastern style, Western style, and Lexington barbecue. South Carolina has their own kind too. Lexington is the best, she says. So it sounds like I need a trip and then we can do a tour and figure out. <laughs> figure it out. Uh, so yeah, this was super fun. I, I love how this page turned out. Like it just felt so creative. Next up, another movie that I love so much. Thankfully, we're away from those scary ones. Um, this is for Family Friday. We did Flight of the Navigator. Now, if you grew up at all in the era of like, you know, 70s to 80s, you may know Flight of the Navigator. If you didn't, I introduced people to Flight of the Navigator <laughs> with this one. But I was obsessed with this movie as a kid. I love it so much. It has the coolest spaceship in any movie ever and I just loved it so um the spaceship is the coolest UFO design ever uh, scrapbook about something cool that you did or experienced recently and for technique um because it was all silver metallic use some silver metallic or chrome and so <laughs> she's like my summer is wide open <laughs> Memphis barbecue says Lynette. <laughs> There's a whole discussion here. South Carolina real smoked ribs or brisket. I know we bought a smoker after like me falling in love so much with with um, barbecue. We actually bought a smoker. So now we can do briskets and uh, roasts and different things. My absolute favorite is the potatoes. Seriously, smoked potatoes. Like we actually pre-cook them like just in the microwave. And then you put them on the smoker rolled in butter and salt for about an hour in the smoker. And they are the most amazing potatoes in the whole world. And then the next morning you make fried potatoes with those potatoes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yum. <laughs> so good. Okay. So here is my Flight of the Navigator inspired page and a cool experience. We got to hold macaw parrots. Like how cool is that? And so let me bring this over and show you right here. I've got some really fun letters and these ones are actually like silvery metallic a little bit. Um, yeah, they kind of are almost a little holographic too in some ways, like all metallic-y, so fun. And uh, 
you can see I've got some inking going on in the back. And then for this top part, can I just talk to you about the top part of this page? Because like, it was cool. I took my piece of pattern paper and it was like more red at the top and more orangey at the bottom. And I punched all of these little circles with a circle punch. It's not on my desk anymore, thank goodness. I actually put something away for once. <laughs> but I punched all these little circles and then I kind of kept them in the color order as I punched them out. And then I started lining them up here and just like putting them down, right? Putting them down, putting them down and like folding up the little ends. I think it's so cute. <laughs> I just love how that turned out. Yeah. <laughs> Danelle says you had me at potato. <laughs> yeah. She's so, so fun. Oh my gosh. Yes. A smoker. How long do you get to hold the macaws? Longer or sh slightly longer. <laughs> yeah, I held the macaws slightly longer than this lot. I will tell you. <laughs> it was still pretty quick, but it was definitely longer than the, than the sloth. Like seriously. So funny. Um, Okay, next up, we were on our Silly Saturday, and we had to do space balls. Some of our favorite quotes from our movies are embedded into our life. Uh, one of the things that they talk about um, is the speed of the spaceship. And of course, like, Spaceball is a parody, and like, they, it's a space opera parody, I guess. And they actually called the speeds of the spacecraft really hilarious things. So they have uh, ludicrous speed and plaid <laughs> speed. <laughs> it's just so funny. So I'm like ludicrous speed. Um, what is a favorite movie quote around your house and how does it come up? And then for technique, uh, do you have goofy photos trying to get a nice photo but keep getting the outtakes? Let the hilarity of the funny photos shine on in your layout today. So I'll tell you, in our featured um, designer, because we always have a featured designer and I show that off on our daily video, our featured designer had shared outtake photos <laughs> and they were hilarious. She had had some kind of um, snack or beverage or something that turned her tongue like, purple, purple. And so she has these pictures where she's trying to get like an acceptable photo of your tongue sticking out like, <laughs> like oh my gosh. <laughs> So, so funny. So funny. Oh my goodness. And so it inspired me to share this. Now, no screen captures people. Come on now. <laughs> this is my page. My husband, he saw me standing by the railing on our cruise ship and he's like, oh, it'd be so sweet to have pictures of her standing there by the railing because he knows how much I love my scrapbooking. So look at him trying to help. But uh, look at him trying to help. That's my butt sticking out. <laughs> my dress is blowing around. It's totally a bathing suit, like, right? It's totally a bathing suit, right? But uh, yeah, so I'm like, great. Thanks for the butt pics. <laughs> so she, she made me brave and I did the page and I talked about this. Did I use a quote on it? Um, no, <laughs> but I used like the little stickers and sure that's good enough, <laughs> but so funny. Oh uh, yeah. Okay. Next up was day number 19. Are we even going to get through this? Oh my goodness. It's like, we're running over guys. I'm getting through this whole thing. I'm going to do the whole thing. I don't care how long it's going to take if you're done early. Well, it's available on the replay. Um, Next up was Day 19, Guardians of the Galaxy. In the opening scene, the music is pumping and Peter Quill, also known as Star-Lord, is really feeling the music. And how does the music help you get in the mood for different activities? And, you know, keep it PG. Like, <laughs> So I did this page talking about music and I have like this big pullout to talk about how I use music. I'll be listening to it when I'm getting ready for my day, listen to it when I'm swimming or working out, when I'm doing the laundry, like, you know, I have music for everything. And I kind of showed some of my playlists actually, like some of the songs I love to listen to. So that was really fun. 
And I got those little wood veneers in there. Always forget to use the wood veneers, but I actually got some on the page. Um, inspired by Groot, use wood grain or wood veneer on your layout. So I used the wood grain paper and I used some wood veneers. I'm like, double duty. I've missed all these other ones, but at least I got them. <laughs> uh, definitely the best soundtrack, right? I know. They did so good with that. Um, so next up after Guardians of the Galaxy, that was part of our series Sunday, right? Series. Um, next up was our film adaptation Monday, which we talked about the movie Hidden Figures. And so computers were people, right? They, before they were actually like a physical electronic device, they were people. People were computers that did calculations. Now they're this electronic device. As we go through our life, our names kind of often change depending on our roles, um, maybe it's marriage, nicknames, your mom, you're a mom, you're a grandma, you're an auntie, like you have all these different names and, and roles that you take on in life. So scrapbook about a name change. And for technique, use a chalk effect or chalkboard effect or dark background pattern paper with light lettering or something like that. Have you seen the ads for the new one? Groot is tall and buff. I don't know if I have. I, I love the movies, though. <laughs> I may have just watched Infinity War yesterday. <laughs> so this is my page that I did. Uh, is this the right one? Okay, hold on a second. Do 20. Yes, a name change. Okay. So <laughs> um, I don't know how this is a name change. What did I do? A name change. Day 20. Uh, go through scrapbook oh my chocolate experience I don't know oh, I guess I didn't do a name change I just did like chalkboard effect that's hilarious okay I don't know if I've ever not used the like prompt before <laughs> call me relaxed for once there you go there's a name change for you <laughs> so fun Okay, but I love the page. Like I've got like the ripped papers in the background. I actually cut out these little leaves with like a dye that I bought. Cause I'm like, I can use those dyes for, dyes for anything. I've used like all of twice now, but you know, I have used them, so <laughs> it counts. Um, yeah, first day of the trip, set the tone of my holiday. I was scrubbed with chocolate scrubs, slathered in chocolate butter and massaged with chocolate oil. What a decadent experience. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I had to remember that. <laughs> Day 21 it was Star Trek Tuesday. And so we were talking about Mr. Spock. And he's the science officer on Star Trek. He's known for several sayings, including especially ones involving logic. Some of his most famous quotes are live long and prosper, highly illogical. And when you eliminate the impossible, whatever remains, however improbable, must be the truth. So if you had a catchphrase, what would it be? What mantra do you live by? And for technique, Spock's hand symbol, the Vulcan salute, is actually available as an emoji. Who knew this? Like, did anybody know that? Because like I had never seen it, but it is an emoji. You can get the Vulcan salute as an emoji. And we talked a little bit about the makings of it. Um, use an emoji, does not have to be Spock's on your layout today. So my page was make yourself so happy that others smile just by looking at you. And we may have seen this picture of me already because I reuse photos just so you know. That was, it was on the day, not one of the other days, I think. But um, yeah, it was just, I talk about how going to the beach is like a battery recharge. I love the sunshine. I love the waves. I love getting in the water. I love just getting into the sand. And uh, isn't this paper cute? So we've seen this paper before too. And like the sunset kind of paper, right? With like the water. And now we've seen it again. I've done different little techniques. You see like the paper curling. I just love like, I think that's going to look so great in the book altogether. Uh, okay. Uh, next up, day 22. I'm going to take these ones away because this is 
um, this one's a little thick. When it gets in my album, it's gonna get a little squished. Let's be real, that, that will just happen <laughs> over time. Uh, day 22, Star Wars. So we talked about Baby Yoda, also known as the child, also known as Grogu. And so the world kind of went Star Wars crazy all over again when Disney Plus released The Mandalorian. It was like Baby Grogu, Baby Yoda, right? We called him Baby Yoda. And we found out later his name was actually Grogu and he was introduced to the world through The Mandalorian series on Disney Plus. And so our job for today was to scrapbook something adorably cute and to use green. So here is my layout. We did see a few puppies on this day. I will confess, dogs, puppies, other animals, um, definitely made appearances on the adorably cute grandchildren. <laughs> Sometimes your kids. Like I look at these pictures and seriously, my heart just melts. This is my son, Ryan. And look at how much he is loving getting like mauled by puppies. <laughs> it was the best ever. So it definitely fits into the whole cute thing. Oh my goodness puppies and my kid. Okay, next up for day 23, we talked about video games. So early video games could be a little hard to control. I'm thinking of you, Asteroids. Um, scrapbook about an adventure that happened outside of your control and use triangles like the Asteroids kind of spaceship. It's kind of triangle-y. So we talked about adventures outside of your control. And here we are. Um, this is me traveling with my bags full of stuff. I am an expert tourist. My bags are packed. Scratch that. My bags are stuffed. I'm definitely an expert packer. I can fit everything in my two carry-on bags. I like to get on the flight as quickly as possible so I can put my bags away safely. And so I was just kind of talking about, like, is that out of my control? Well, if they run out of space to put my rolly bag, that really upsets me. So as much as possible, I try to get on that plane right away. My husband's like, what's the rush? And I'm like, I need somewhere for my bag. I don't want them to take it and put it underneath. <laughs> I need my bag. <laughs> Amy says, my catchphrase is tuck in your shirt. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Um, so funny. Okay, day 24. It was our, um, let's see, the video games I think we put in on the, the theme day. So Friday would have been Family Friday. So we talked about pigs in space. <laughs> Inspired by the puns used for the comedy in the pigs in space skits on the Muppet show. Wink, wink. Was this a nod to a future load? Huh? Does that happen once in a while? <laughs> it has happened a few times, actually. Not every time. It's not always hiding in there, but <laughs> this one did. <laughs> um, let's make a layout about something funny that happened to you. And so, oh, I'm pretty sure this is my page. Yes, yes, it's got to be. Uh, oh, I forgot to label some of these. Oh my goodness. I'm usually really good about it, but I'm pretty sure it's this one. And then on the opening of the Muppet Show, they have opened the curtains and you see all the Muppets lined up on the balconies, kind of like on the little ledges with the little arched windows. So create a layout with a grid-like effect. So this is as grid-like as we got. This page picture's falling off. That looks like that needs to be fixed. Okay. Anyways, uh... There we go. I'm your biggest fan. I printed off the thing. My little niece was playing in this fun hockey game against the teachers at her school. Fam it's a tradition for years. Oh my gosh. Had to scrap that. So, slightly grid-like effect. Something funny. The big question was, can she even skate? She could. But, mm, like, could she, like, hockey skate? <laughs> Not so much, <laughs> but, but the fact that she wanted to do that, I'm like, girl, ooh, powerful. <laughs> that was great. Okay. Next up was our silly Saturdays. We talked about Futurama, Futurama, 
Oh, and you saw this return in this paper. You guys, like, you see, like, I, what have I used? Like, three different kits for the most part, and then, like, a couple odd things, like, that don't, like, fit in, right? Couple different p papers, but mostly it was, like, three kits for the whole month. It was amazing. Um, so Futurama, scrapbook about your job or volunteerism and something interesting that it allows you to do or learn about. So we talked about the jobs working at the pizza or planet express sorry planet express doing deliveries and it's kind of funny because the main character fry he used to deliver pizzas and now he does deliveries to other planets of different things so he's still a delivery guy um in the opening credits of the tv show you see people being transported in clear tubes to different places so use some acrylic or clear embellishments on your layout and well, this one doesn't have that, so maybe I forgot again, <laughs> it happens. <laughs> but we did talk about um, interesting things. So there's nothing like starting a trip with extra security screening. And so I've got my son lined up in security, all of us lined up to go, and a little bit of discussion about luggage. So good stuff to get that done. But I can't believe I don't, didn't get any acrylic on there. Like, what was I thinking? <laughs> okay, next up was the TV series Firefly. Now, this was another one. When I said we were doing Firefly, or when I said we were doing this, people were instantly asking, are you doing Firefly? <laughs> It's like, are, are you doing Doctor Who and are you doing Firefly? Those ones were two that I got asked about. I think they knew I'd be doing like Star Trek and Star Wars. But, um... Firefly. Uh, the, the, the whole Firefly TV series, it stars Nathan Fillion. People went crazy about it. It was a Joss Whedon production and it's like 500 years in the future, sci-fi Western. Yes, sci-fi and Western in the same thing. It's, it's unusual. It's unusual. The idea of space western might seem to be opposing ideas. Scrapbook about, about two or more things that don't seem to go together, but they totally work for you. And so uh, we've got, and then uh, many of the scenes in the show are shot in a rough and tumble style with handheld footage and lens flares being a desired effect. Create a lens flare effect for your page, like a starburst or sunray effect. I think... I must have forgot to do that too. I did this. <laughs> this is what I did. Um, and so I did this picture of my boys. I love that they're back to back as we're kind of talking about things that don't always go. And my husband is always giving me a hard time about my boys calling them my boys because they're men now. But it seems weird to call them my men. So they're my boys. They're all grown up, but they're always my kids. So. Not so much lens flare, but you know. We're making it work. Um, and then day 27 was um, a film adaptation Monday. So we were talking about The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Is Firefly on any streaming channels? I could not find it. Um, Cause I was gonna rewatch some of it. I found like clips on YouTube, but not like episodes. So I couldn't find it. I guarantee somebody knows how to find it, but I could not. It wasn't on anything that I had access to. And we have Disney Plus, we have Prime, we have Netflix. Actually, now I haven't checked because my brother has Crave and I think I was watching some stuff on Crave recently. But yeah, Star Trek was called A Wagon Train to the Stars by its creator. There you go, Amy. <laughs> <laughs> it's only 13 episodes of Firefly and Lynette says it is the best Firefly is the best see there's people that love Firefly and like there was no way I was gonna not include that like I I knew I did my I did my homework <laughs> I did a lot of homework on this this load um the idea of a space western so starburst sunrays okay next up Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy also not something I'd watched, but it's like a film adaptation from a book. Um, the opening sequence of the movie has these dolphins that are thanking the humans for the fish before they leave the earth because the earth is kind of doomed or something. <laughs> and so scrapbook about something that you're thankful for. And then 
when you look at the spaceship in Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, it's all white, like very monochromatic inside. It's all white on white, but there's like really cool patterns all over the walls. So we had to create a white on white monochromatic layout inspired by the Heart of Gold spaceship. And now our feature designer did a great job. And when I saw her thing, I was like, yes, I have to do something like that. <laughs> I have to do something like that. So I made this page and I love how it turned out. Like it was such good inspiration for my layout. Now, did I really lean into the, the story prompt about something you're thankful for? Okay, like my husband, right? I'm like so, so lucky to have him. But you know, the cool part was like all of the fun stuff that I did just to do the white on white. Obviously I used a gray base and then I took this pattern paper like it's very tropical and I excuse me I put gesso over the top and then you can see I sanded back the gesso in some places to really allow little details from the background to kind of shine through the gesso which I thought was pretty cool and I do have some acrylics on this page and I used one of those great big words that I've had in my stash for 10 million years. I think I've used two of them so far. Now I've used three, <laughs> but I really love how the whole page had turned out and um, just cutting the little edges apart was really an interesting um, adventure. So, but it, it came together pretty well actually. So that was my second last page, day 27. So finally, we need to talk about day 28, right? It's so pretty, I know. <laughs> Jenny says this isn't her favorite topic because she hasn't seen most of the movies, Star Wars, and that's about it. Wow, like sci-fi is not your genre then. Yeah, it's tough when you don't know it, right? Like when you don't know anything about it. Um, the one day, what was it? Galaxy Quest. Our feature designer had never seen Galaxy Quest, but when she like was given the topic, she went out and she watched Galaxy Quest so she would understand it better for doing her page. And I was like, oh my gosh, I introduced someone to Galaxy Quest. I'm so happy <laughs> because I love that movie so much. <laughs> um, yeah, February is a tough month. Music, the musicals getting intense. So I could, so I couldn't participate. Just reading the emails. Oh yeah, like, and I don't put as much into the emails, but like when you click through from the emails, you get all of the details about the stuff. Yeah, it can be hard to fit everything in in life, right? Like, so our final day, our final day, uh, we were talking about Star Trek. We finished, we started our day with a Star Wars and we finished with a Star Trek. So I really felt like we end capped it quite well. However, for our final day, we talked about Star Trek, but we talked about the opening credits and I'm like, mm, okay, well, it, here it is. We, we got to talk about this. <laughs> and so um, in every episode of Star Trek, they're going where no one has gone before. Or if you go back where no, no man has gone before, but that has been updated. Um, on their way, they always end up in dire peril. The ship is failing, disaster looms. Thankfully, they save the day and are able to celebrate another win as they continue to explore the galaxy. So I think that's like pretty much the best summary of, of Star Trek in a nutshell, right? If you're going to talk about a Star Trek episode, everything goes wrong, the ship falls apart, and then they save the day. <laughs> so... For this, our story prompt was to scrapbook a celebration in your life and then to, for technique, use block letters. Bonus if they're yellow and don't forget your star date on your layout or just a regular date. <laughs> and so block letters, the closest I got to block letters are these ones. So, you know, you know how I am with these technique prompts. But um, I did get to talk about, like, showcase the celebration of the Champagne Tower on the cruise ship, which is really cool. And so that was my final day for a load 223 Space Nerds. And it was just such a fun month of looking at all of these science fiction films, the ones that we really nerd out and go, like, you know, where the fans really get involved, where you just really love these shows. And so that was a lot of fun. And now coming up, what we have, okay, do I have the thing in front of me? 
I forgot to open this thing. So give me a second. Uh, now coming up in just a couple of weeks. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Here it is. How do I put that in here? Good question. Um, Oh, like this. Oh, there I'm in the wrong spot. Okay. Come Alice do this. Okay. There we go. In just a couple of weeks, we have this. We have this. Oh my goodness. We have this. <laughs> Load 523 is frogs, pigs, and fuzzy bears. And we are talking about, we will be scrapbooking our stories, our pages, inspired by the Muppets. And I am just so excited to talk about the Muppets. Um, yes, we will be taking an, an adventure down Sesame Street, <laughs> like guaranteed. We'll, we will be strolling down Sesame Street as we talk about Jim Henson, the Muppets, and you know, all of the related things. <laughs> and it is just such a good way to unlock different stories that you want to do to have some accountability when it comes to getting your pages done, to have a chance to explore some creativity as you go through the month, to see all of the other cool things that the other scrapbookers are making at the same time, and just kind of lean into a lot of the fun. Like if you have like seen the Sesame Street characters, if you know the Muppet characters, if you've seen any of the movies or the Muppet show, um, then chances are this one will be up your alley. <laughs> like Jenny says, this is more up my alley. <laughs> and there, I promise that there will be pages that you make during the month that um, just make you like think, oh my gosh, I'm so glad I made that page. Like several of these pages that I made during the February load, like they're nice pages, but there's a few in here that really dug into stories that I'm really glad that I had a chance to tell on a page. And I find that that always happens to me when I do a load, like having those prompts really helps me like unlock that story and get that onto a page. Um, and I, I hear that from others as well when we do the load. So I'm really looking forward to that one. Um, you can get the information at scraphappy.org slash load. Uh, let's see what I, can I do? Oh yeah. It's down here at the bottom. Down here at the bottom, you can see the, the thing. It'll be in the description on this video as well. And if you're a Scrap Happy member or you want to come and be a Scrap Happy member before that, then we do load challenges every year in February, May, and we have one just for members in October. And usually there's a little uh, one week mini one in the summer. So that's another thing. So if you're like, oh my gosh, Alice, um, I love the pages that you've done. Um, I would love to get, you know, have that kind of accountability. One of the fun things that we have during our load month is there's some prizes randomly that show up on different days. And if you complete all of your layouts, now you don't have to scrapbook like me. You can scrapbook in your own way, in your own style. If you're a digi scrapbooker, play along. If you use the Project Life app, play along. All of the things are eligible for load. Like you don't have to scrapbook in a certain way. Now the requirement is it has to be scrapbook pages. You can't do like cards because those aren't scrapbook pages. Like it has to be a layout. So if it's a layout to you, then it's a layout to me. And um, you kind of were expected to kind of finish the pages, right? Like that's, that's kind of one of the thing. It's not about just like having incomplete pages. It can't be stuff that you did ahead of time and you have to actually do them every single day. Now you don't have to use the prompts so you can do your own thing. So if you go off prompt, you aren't inspired by that prompt, you want to do your own thing, you have something else, that's totally fine. You d the prompts aren't required. Lay it out a day though. You have to make it each day. You can't catch up. So if you miss a day, you can't catch up. You can keep playing, but you can't catch up. And if you finish them all, we have like a small token, like, um, just something to be like, congratulations, like a little pat on the back. And, uh, that's always something that's kind of fun. Um, in, uh, our October one, we actually had this cute little six by six stencil and it has music notes because we did one called Motown Memories. 
And that was really fun. Uh, Lynette says, I was so excited. My second load and I was raised on the Muppets. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> so yeah, it should be a lot of fun. Uh, does anybody have any questions? I know like we're like way longer than I intended to be, but like whatever. I'm, I'm here right now. If you have any questions about load, about past loads, about future loads, I don't like give away too many like hints ahead of time, but um, May load is coming up. Um, and then, um, yeah, we'll probably have a one week one in the summer and then our members one in October. And the members one is only for members because it's actually made by the members for the members. So we have a lot of interaction from our members. We don't have daily videos for that one, but we do have the daily prompts and inspiration. <laughs> Amy says, one day I'll make it through an entire load. I'll likely need to be retired. <laughs> oh, a teacher's life, <laughs> right? Um, the first load I ever did, I signed up as like, I'm like, well, I like, it's not possible to scrapbook a layout a day. Like, I don't know why they even call it that. I really didn't think that was possible. And then I started and then I kept making the pages and I was like, Oh my gosh, I'm doing it. Oh my gosh, I'm doing it. I'm actually making all the pages. <laughs> and so it was amazing. And I'll tell you, like, there's been several loads that I didn't complete all the pages myself. But um, yeah, a lot of them I do. A lot of them I do. And if you do all of your load challenges with Scrap Happy membership, I think in one year, if you do them all, you will have like, 98 or 99 pages depending on or is it 97 or 98 pages something like that depending on if it's a leap year <laughs> how many days we have in February and yeah so it's amazing like how productive you can be and tell stories that you want to tell and get your pages done and scrapbook those photos that you have hanging out and yeah Debbie says, every single day is the hardest part, but I love these series. <laughs> and uh, Amy has a question. Have you done a Disney load before? Not yet. Not yet. I'll just say that. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's, uh, it's a consideration. It's such a big topic. I'm a little, I'll say I'm intimidated. Like I was intimidated by the, our space nerds, but like, I'll tell you, Disney is like a bit. Yeah, I, I really need a good game plan before I take that on. <laughs> oh, thanks for the thumbs up. That was so sweet. <laughs> Debbie says, I love the Muppets. Me too. So yeah, that's really fun. Thank you so much for joining me today for this Happy at Home session. Um, our next one will be on the 17th. Then we're also going to be the 18th, the 20th and 21st, the 24th and the 28th. So it's not quite every day this month. That just wouldn't work. I was traveling at the beginning of this month, so I wasn't home. And then I have a little trip in that last week that I'm also going to have. So um, yeah, there was going to be some days where I'm not here in my space to be able to host this. But um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to being back. We're going to try some stuff. I saw some of your suggestions. If you have more suggestions of topics I should be digging into during these sessions, then go ahead and leave it in the comments and let me know what you think. Be like, Alice, you definitely have to do some of that like inking with stencils. <laughs> Chantel says, oh my gosh, Disney or fairy tale would be great. <laughs> So yeah, lots of, lots of fun. There's so many fun ideas. When I look back at all the different load challenges that we've done, there's been a lot <laughs> for starters. There's been a lot. Um, we've had such creative ideas. Like we did one all inspired by the Wizard of Oz. We did one inspired by Greek mythology. We did one that was all about Tom Hanks movies. That one was called T. Hanks a lot. Like Thanks a lot. Oh my God, I'm genius. <laughs> Good naming. <laughs> um, we have done one inspired by Harry Potter. We did one inspired by, um, we've done one just about magic. 
uh, that wasn't like specifically Harry Potter, we've done, oh my gosh, it's like so fun. Like so fun. We've just had so many good topics. Um, the Beatles, that was actually one of my all time favorite ones was the Beatles. I couldn't believe how much I loved the Beatles. Like I thought I liked them a little before, but like after I did the Beatles one, I'm like, I'm in love. <laughs> And Harry Potter was awesome. Yeah, see, it's just so good. Um, so many good topics. The Motown memories that we had just done. Um, we did one based on architecture from around the world last year. And that was fantastic. Like, I just tell you, every single one is like my new favorite at the time. <laughs> the Golden Girls. Thank you, Jenny. Like, Golden Girls. That was a fantastic one. Yeah, we have had amazing um, load challenges. And here's the thing, we only do each load once. So you can do it when it's live. And then after that, you have the opportunity to, um, you, you can go back if you're a member and you can review them. If you sign up for load, you have like, I think 18 months of access to that load. And then um, you get retired from that. But um, yeah, if you're a member, you get access to all of them, like, forever. Dan Danelle says, I love the mini load inspired by the rainbow. So anybody that wants to, like, give this a little bit of a try, um, that mini load by the rainbow is actually a free trial. We've set it up as a free trial because it was just so fun. <laughs> like, I'm like, seven days, seven colors of the rainbow. Uh, we set it up as a free trial for anybody that wants to try a mini load. Obviously, it's not the full month long deal, but... Um, it's a lot of fun to go in and see, like, it, it is somewhat predictable in what your day is going to be inspired by, but you're going to love, like, some of the information behind it and where the stories take you. So it was, that one's a good one. So yeah, lots of fun. Thank you so much for joining me for this. I love these sessions. I forgot how much I love these sessions. I was so happy to get this started again and we'll do all that we can this month. And then it will be May and we will be scrapbooking inspired by the Muppets. So it's going to be fantastic. Um, until Monday, when I will return with our next topic, uh, we won't be just looking at layouts. We're going to be like digging into something crafty um, on Monday, something we can use for our scrapbooking. And uh, yeah, that's when I will be back. So until then, happy scrapping, everyone. Have a great day. Oh, and if you need links for anything, it's underneath in the description. Check the description for links. <laughs> right. I forgot to say that. Okay, bye. <laughs>